What is the AI game that's stirring controversy online? Recently, a new AI-generated click-through game sparked discourse on social media. But what exactly makes it so controversial? On September 2nd, 2023, developer Emmett Hom teased a, quote, degenerate idea in a post on X. Hours later, the idea was revealed in a follow-up post in which he shared a link to a game he had created called SmasherPath.ai. Hom referred to it as an AI-generative party game. The website's content is a simple, hot or not type game that shows a player various images of women generated by AI, and the user chooses whether or not they find each woman attractive. The game doesn't seem to have any goal beyond the satisfaction of judging the appearance of imaginary women. However, Holm describes the game as a generative model that promises to learn a user's preferences based on their choices, and then optimize the selection of AI-generated women it renders. Basically, the more you click through, the more it discovers your type and starts showing images of women more aligned with your preferences. Holm shared that the goal of his game was to create a more sophisticated image recommendation system, a technology that would be useful beyond just reading computer-generated faces and bodies. Word about the website spread over the next few days, mostly through users sharing parodies of it. For example, on September 4th, ex-user Rona Wang shared a link to a click-through game she had created based on Holmes, called Friend or Foe AI, the tagline for which reads, designed to emulate the split-second decisions that women need to make. This game shows the player AI-generated images of men, and the player is prompted to choose which men might be perceived as a threat. In her post, Wang wrote, men worry about how hot a girl is, women worry about how dangerous a guy is. Other users shared screenshots of fake parody versions like Arena or Marie and gay or not gay. The AI game seems to be just the latest in a history of similar online games where users decide if they're attracted to certain individuals based on photos. For example, there was Mark Zuckerberg's 2003 site FaceMash, which compared photos of students at his university, and Hot or Not, which launched in late 2000. Some online even called the new game AI Tinder. Palm's game received a lot of backlash on X. One user writing, the perfect example of why tech gets a bad rep. Many users, as well as online publications, have called the game sexist, some insisting that there are many other ways to have created an AI image recommendation system that would have been more appropriate.